calculus, AP calculus, free response question. Um, this is mean value theorem. The height of an object t seconds after it is dropped from a height of 500 meters it is given by the position function s of t is equal to negative 4.9 t squared plus 500. We're asked to, to find the average velocity of the object during the first three seconds. So this is all we're going to do here is we know that, that the average velocity is going to equal the first, the second velocity minus the, I'm sorry, the second velocity minus the first velocity over the second time minus the first time, right? Oh, so this is B minus A here. So what we do if we, if we fill this in, if we took, this would be S of 3, wouldn't it? If we took S of 3, and this would be S of 0, right? We would get 455.9 minus 500 all divided by 3. And that would turn out to be negative 14.7 meters per second. So there's our average velocity on that interval. So that's the first problem solved. The second problem solved asks us to use the mean value theorem to verify that at some time, that at some time during the first three seconds of the fall, the instantaneous velocity is equal to the average velocity. So we're going to take the first derivative of this, right? And velocity, we know that velocity is equal to the first derivative of position. And the first derivative of this position happens to be negative 9.8t, right? This is 9.8t. And we want to say that this thing is equal to the average velocity here, so is equal to negative 14.7. Don't do that. So we divide both sides by negative 9.8, and you would get t is equal to 1.5 seconds, wouldn't you? seconds. So we're asked to do two things, and here are our two answers supported by good calculus. All right, good work.